Dude, thank you for the alcohol today. Oh, oh. shit. Uh, hey guys, uh, welcome to Nostalgia Critique, where we look at games and we talk about them for way yeah. too long. Yeah, <laughs> uncomfortably long. Yeah, we have people feeling really awkward about how long we talk about games Generally. and don't give them money. Yeah, usually we have them standing in front of us for at least like an hour, and then we're like, yo, we'll throw you like $3. So you might not That's be cool. used to seeing me in the front, but my name's Alex. And I'm mad. And today we have... Oh, me. Sorry, I'm like too busy doing like some inventory right now, you know. Yeah. I oh. got like, I'm counting all these, these games and stuff. Like, you got like, oh my god, like, you have how many... Stars races we have, and you know, oh, this oh, is, oh, no, oh no, no, no. hide that, hide that. Yeah, that. Uh, yeah, don't, yeah, uh, don't look. Nobody's either. supposed to know that we're drinking on the job. Today. Yeah, we're not. Yeah, we're not. <laughs> oh, I, I mean, we're having yeah, water we're on the great. job. Anyway, oh, it's just lemonade. What's up, guy? Yo, How what's going down? Everything cool? Talking to me. Oh, this guy's a quiet motherfucker. Yeah, what are you? Wait, 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 yeah, wait, yeah. Take care of the customer over there. He just. He just slid that on the counter. He just threw it at you. That was really awkward. Yeah. Oh, well. He handed me the Sonic Classic Collection. Super ironic. We were watching the Sonic movie. Yeah, the Sonic movie was great. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what this person thinks because he's not really saying anything about it, and he, I, it seems like he's pretty intimidating. We got the special edition, the Meow edition. Oh my god, where that's it has my Sonic's favorite. old design. Oh, it, cool. We got the manual and stuff in what? here. What? That's pretty damn sweet. That's pretty good. This game actually collected uh, a few of the older Sonic games. What? Have you played the older Sonic games? Older Sonic games before Sonic <laughs> One? Not before Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> I think I mostly mean like Sonic <laughs> One, Two, and Three. Yeah, and I've Sonic Three those. and Knuckles and stuff. Yeah, I like Sonic. I've played those Sonic games. Do you have a the favorite of the series? <laughs> three and Knuckles because you could fly around with tails. That's true. No, that game was sick. I always played Sonic yeah. 3 and Knuckles. That one actually had, like, save slots. That was, like, the game yeah, to big play. Time. Then it also had one of my favorite levels in there involving the pyramid, and you're sliding around. Oh, is that the, the pyramid? Would you do, like, the, the Batman thing? You yeah. Like, yeah. That was nuts for- Yeah, that uh, level's great. I love that one. So, so I think today what we're gonna do is a little bit of a <laughs> retrospective on the Sonic Genesis- The, the main the games of the, the Genesis era. The trifecta. So, uh, we're gonna talk about that like crazy to your face mm. right now. Start with Sonic 1. Sonic 1, release date June 23rd, 1991. The ultimate game that started everything back in the day. Where Sonic all began. But you probably have a little more information in regards to how it all came around and how it became popular, yeah? I, I know that they were like looking for a mascot. They're yeah. like... Oh, Jesus Christ, Nintendo's got that guy in the overalls. What the <laughs> hell are we going to do over here? <laughs> That's true. I mean, it was big when it came to, like, competing with the other consoles on, like, who's going to be the main face that carries the title of everything. The universal Sega name, just like Mario's got the universal Nintendo name. He's still around today. Yeah. And I think Sega, to an extent, is still around today, just yeah. not- They're not in the console wars <laughs> yeah, no more. kind of, like, owned by Nintendo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're pretty much. Yeah. Can we jump in for one second? Yeah, go ahead. Do it. So the fact that, like, um, before Sonic, like, they actually had Alex Kidd as the, uh, the mascot. Yeah. Wow, jeez. Just yeah. for a little bit, then they're like, this is not working out, so... Yeah. We need something we, we cool. We need more colorful, colorful. We colorful. need something fast. So, uh, originally, Dr. Robonica, I think, was, like, Teddy Roosevelt. And, and, uh, what? yeah, <laughs> seriously. So he was supposed to be like Teddy Roosevelt and they're like, oh, we don't really know what we're doing with this game and we're trying to figure yeah. out what the hell to happen. And then they had like a design, which people refer to as Mr. Needlemouse, where it's like a little guy who's like, hey, and that eventually became like Sonic. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah. And he wasn't like... He, this guy's not saving princesses. He's saving the world, you know? He's, he's saving little animals. Yeah, that's all he's yeah. doing. They, they had a book of, like, concepts. They're like, mech suit, no. Kid with magic powers, tried it. Wow. Furry? We've got this. Yeah, this is the winner right over <laughs> In here. the bag. <laughs> Especially since Disney was huge at that time, too. With that's true. Lion King and everything like that. Plus Goof Troop, you name it, all those anthropomorphic yeah, like animal shows. This around the 90s, yeah? Yeah. Hmm. This was like the coolest thing for a 90s kid to have around in their existence. It was an anthropomorphic, fast-running, cool blue hedgehog that knows how to have a good time and eat some chili dogs. And their selling point was like, 
Bro, this guy has got an attitude. Yeah. This guy's pissed off all the fucking time. He's oh beating up robots. He's punching robots. Yeah. He's jumping on robots. He's stealing kids' TVs like the ad campaigns are nuts. <laughs> and So I actually... What was your first experience with, like, Sonic 1? First experience? Ah, I can't even think of it. I just remember playing the games and being like, Oh my god, this is so cool! I remember being really excited having it. Technically, it was my brother that actually got the games because mm -hmm. he was the one that was on top of all the games. I was too young and malleable in the brain. And so it technically kind of like shaped me to who I am in yeah. regards to what video games I liked and everything. Similar for me. Uh, but I, so the first time I played Sonic 1, yeah. we had a game called Six Pack. Yeah. It had uh, Streets of Rage. Oh, yeah. It had yeah. Altered Beast. The classic. It had uh, Sonic 1. Mm hmm. That was my experience with, like, Sonic 1 on the Genesis. Mm. I didn't have, like, the physical Sonic 1 game. We owned it on the six-pack. Mm. And, uh, my brother, like, introduced me to, like, the Sega console, and I... Mm. He, spoiler alert, I wasn't alive <laughs> in 91. <laughs> you know, I, I'm, uh, not of that, that exact era, but I mm. was a 90s kid, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, I got to experience Sonic as, like, things were mm -hmm. out and stuff already. Mark, what was your, like, experience with, uh, Sonic? So, I never actually owned a, uh, Genesis back then. Wow! Oh, damn! Yeah, no wonder you are in the back room! Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the back room doing this crap right now, so, like, we actually got Sonic 2 right now, so... Whoa! Jeez! Yeah, Ooh. I think it's, like, five of these, actually. <laughs> damn! Whatever. Um, <laughs> I never actually owned a, uh, a Genesis back then. Um, damn. I was always a Nintendo kid, I guess, until PlayStation came out. Mm. But, uh, I used to go to my uncle's house all the time and used to play, like, you know, Sonic 1 and 2, really. Never played Sonic 3 or Sonic Knuckles until they released a collection for the GameCube. Mm. You know what Genesis does? Goes fast. What, what Nintendo. Don't. Yeah. That's because they got that Mega Drive in there. It's awesome. It's, Dude. Got, it's got horsepower. Do you remember what they said in the ads? Yeah. It was part of, like, uh, the, the... I think his name is I, Tom Kalinske, right? <laughs> Uh, if I remember correctly, and he was like a part of the big Sega campaign and trying to help that through the console wars. I think mm -hmm. there's going to be like movies and documentaries on it too now. Mm -hmm. But he was like, we got to come up with like things that people are going to be like, wow, we need a Sega. Mm -hmm. And one of the concepts was blast processing. That's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> Something that doesn't exist. Yeah. <laughs> That's how like... the games move that fast. It was thanks <laughs> to the blast processing. Yeah. You want to know how Sonic runs so quick? Blast yeah. processing. It's like, that's not real. <laughs> that's not even a thing. <laughs> well, that was a very 90s term that made every kid shit their pants in excitement. Hearing blast processing. Nintendo doesn't have a blast processor no, in it. it really doesn't. Yeah. It's got, what, 16 it's got bits? regular processing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, back then it was called the the, the Bit Wars. So yeah. Yes. People were like, oh, you know, Nintendo was like 8 bits, and it went to 16 and 32, yep. and like... They're like, oh, can I get a Super Nintendo? Like, you already have Nintendo. What's wrong with the like uh, the regular? Yeah. Know, what, 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 the Super Nintendo? Because it has more bits. What yeah. the hell are those? Yeah, parents oh, never understood. Dude. It was like the Prince of Bel Air up on that shit. Oh man, and then like Sega came out with the three two X. Sega was like, yeah, fucking nutty. Did releasing. You, did you have and shit. like all the additional add-ons for the Sega? I, where it's that monster that the big thing is. Oh, it's a tower. In. Yeah, you have to put like the you Sega to, Drive onto the disc drive, oh, and then you got to put the God. megabyte thing into the other cartridge and yeah. slam that in there. It looked like that that twisted metal tower with yeah, Sweet it was Dead, fucking. But it's just the thirty two X. It was atrocious. <laughs> no, yeah, because they had man. the Sega CD. They had the. The the Saturn, yeah. the three two X. Did you ever have a like, Sega CD? I did not. You're I not just, missing out. That was dog shit. Yeah, I had the Saturn, but it broke uh, two TVs. Mm. So my dad's like, "We're not getting the Saturn no more. <laughs> no more Sega Saturn." But my uh, uncle had like the, the my uncle had the uh, the Sega CD back then too. And damn. It never worked though. Yeah. So yeah, I just dropped out. You would have to like hold your hands in a prayer formation and pray that the games would yeah. work. Lord Jesus, yeah. today let me play Sonic CD. Yeah, you, <laughs> you do a quick prayer to be able to play your Night Trap, and then that's it. Watch out behind you. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> with, with Sonic One, do you remember like what was your favorite part of the game? What you enjoyed? What you didn't enjoy? What was like cool about it? 
I just like that it was going really fast. Like, the colors were great. The speed was awesome because I never really had a game that was, like, this cracked out. And me being a hyped up little kid that drank a ton of Coca-Cola all day yeah. and ate Gushers as, like, a <laughs> meal. Yeah. That like was the target audience yeah, of this game. Yeah, that was fruit snacks. <laughs> They'd be very happy. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> they're like, this guy's ready for Sonic. Between that and Mega Man, I was. That's it. That's yeah. the golden ratio. Yeah, <laughs> it's having like Mega Man, having blue character. A SNES yeah, and a Mega Drive in your home or, or Sega Genesis was like, can I come over? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, personally, I really when I I fell in love with the character of Sonic. I I think I'm pretty sure I played Sonic two before one. Yeah. But when I played Sonic one, that game was fucking difficult. Yeah, it's like, hard. As it's shit. hard. Like the first Green Hill, yeah. Doo -doo 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 -doo. You're like, yeah, all right, but, sweet. The second one is a lot more manageable. It is. It seems like they realize that kids are going to have a hard time with Sonic 1. So they're like, we got to dumb this down a little bit. Yeah. Oh, uh, there's a nice synopsis here as well. So yeah, the, the plot of the game is that Dr. Robotnik has trapped all the animals on the South Island inside killer machines and capsules, and he's now trying to steal all the six... Chaos Emeralds to harness the power and become unstoppable. You play as Sonic, where your goal is to collect all the Chaos Emeralds before Sonic does and free all the animals from the machines and capsules. You get a bad ending if you don't get all the emeralds, mm. and you get a good one if you do. Damn. Right. So I remember the second level. The level. <laughs> the level. Do you Shit. remember the second level? Uh, level zone, yes. That, that fucking zone. You like just finished Green Paradise, like Happy Forest Land, and then it's like, welcome to hell. There's fire. There's a bunch yeah. of bullshit all over the place. It's fine. Don't land in the lava. You know? Oh my god. That level is fucking uh as a kid. I remember being Shit like, show. oh, dude, this is, like, hard. Especially playing Sonic 2 first, where yeah. now I'm going back to Sonic 1. It's like, this is tough. Yeah, Sonic 2 is a lot of fun, just because, I don't know. Again, it just seems like that they finally grasped the perfect difficulty for a kid. Especially one that's like, oh, that other one was fucking hard. I don't know if I really could do another one. Yeah. Unless you're, like, into that kind of thing, like you're masochistic and love Dark Souls. <laughs> then, yeah. The Elden Ring of Sonic games. Yeah, Elden Sonic Ring of Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. No, so I, I enjoyed... Yeah, one was great. Yeah, I it's beat still it, fun, though. I had a fun time. Yeah. Uh, but no, I, I agree. Where I really like fell into love with mm. Sonic was Sonic Two. Yeah. Tails was there. You're like, yeah, Tails who is awesome. this cutie? Yeah, Tails was always my favorite. I Me too. Tails. But we're the younger, yeah. the younger. And plus, brothers. that was always player too. Like, if you had the yeah. older brother, the older brother was always Sonic. I was always so confused as a kid when like Tails would fly down in Sonic Two. But you couldn't do anything. Like he yeah. couldn't fly in game. Yeah. But I'm like, but he just flew down. Yeah. Like, can I do that? Like, but you would die. You'd come back. You'd be like, mm -hmm. what's up, homie? I'm back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you were the superhero in that game because the older per the other sibling would have to yeah. be like, can you kill this thing? I have no rings. And guess that what? Was, you do it. Yeah. My life as a sibling was Tony being at the boss and being like. All right, kill it. <laughs> Go. <laughs> you know that game was so fucking great. At, at that game release, I think they they made it a whole day. It was like a whole marketing campaign behind Sonic Two. It was called like mm. Sonic Tuesday. Wow. And they made it a huge fucking marketing campaign that's and everything. So funny. Mm. And that that's what started games releasing on Tuesdays. Oh no shit. Yeah. Huh. Because that game was like the big Tuesday, like Sonic Tuesday. Like, oh <laughs> fuck, this is crazy. Damn, that's nuts. Yeah. Oh. And, uh, that game yeah. introduced Miles Tails per hour. It was the same kind of concept where you collected emeralds, had to beat Robotnik, mm -hmm. uh, special stages to get the emeralds. This game introduced Super Sonic. Super Sonic, Which baby. Was sick. What's your favorite part of Sonic 2? Yeah, probably getting all the emeralds and being able to be Super Sonic because yeah. that was nuts. It's not the tunnel level, <laughs> not, the, not the part where you get the Chaos Emeralds. <laughs> Uh, that's true. Yeah, the spe we'll, let's talk about the special stages for yeah. like between one and we'll talk about three later. But like one and two, do you remember the special stages in one? No, that was the trippiest bullshit I don't you'll remember. ever see. You're like everything's spinning around you. It's like an LSD trip, <laughs> and the music's just going do 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 do, and you're like, what? <laughs> You're hitting things, they're sparking, and in the middle is this, like, weird circle, and they're like, that's an emerald. You you, oh you want that. <laughs> it 
<laughs> then Sonic 2 was the very more Yeah, where you're in the tunnel. Based. Yeah, speed-based, collecting rings, trying to avoid bombs later on yeah. as they come up and everything. Because the first time you play the the bonus stage, it's not like they're throwing the hard stuff at you immediately. They're like, oh, here's the concept. This is what you gotta do. Then you're like, oh, if that's if it's just like this for the remainder of time, this is easy street. Yeah. And then later on, you're having to spin around in the air and collect rings, and if you miss a single ring, guess what? You're not gonna make the cut a lot of the time. It's crazy. Sonic fun, 2 though. growing up, I beat so many times. Like, mm -hmm. I beat it on the console, I beat it uh, on PSN, mm -hmm. I, I beat it on like the collections that came out, and uh, regardless, I don't remember that last fucking special stage being as mm -hmm. hard as it fucking yeah. was when we played it I again. I don't understand <laughs> how we... <laughs> it's... yeah, that was really tough. That's the thing, right? A lot of the times when you go back to the stuff that you play as a kid, you're like, Damn, how did I do this when I was younger? And it's like, you think you'd have a lot more coordination now that you're older and being able to grasp the things, but no, it's hard as shit. Uh, realistically, as the, like the little brothers, back then, our brothers must have hated us when they got to mm. the special stage <laughs> and weird tails going like, <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, I hell in around. rings! Because <laughs> <laughs> if you stand still, tails falls behind you. But mm. if you don't, like, t you can move. Player two yeah. can move all around that special stage. <sighs> yeah, that off. You know, crazy. the one thing. Uh, go, 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 go. No, nah, the one. I mean, technically, that rewind button. Thank God for that rewind yeah, button. That yeah, rebind on, on the button is great. Release. Yeah. I was gonna say, what about the uh, what's it called? The uh, the multiplayer mode. So they actually introduced mm -hmm. like was a race or whatever it was. I was about to say, the yeah. What? Well? Yeah, Sonic Two had a versus mode where player mm. one and player two can race and see who can be the level quicker. Mm. And that was cool. It was neat, but the only thing is that the the way it looked on a screen is absolutely fucking awful. <laughs> because it just squishes, like, the game twice. So it's like... Yeah, ah, it was gross right. yeah, looking. Yeah, the split screen. Fucking awful looking. Yeah, it was weird. They, they didn't... Now games, I feel like they'd, like, split it or, like, make the sizes even or something, but that mm. was, like... That was bad. <laughs> yeah, the aspect ratio is better than. than mm. you know. uh, yeah, big time. But new games haven't like re-releases haven't fixed that. No, it's always the same. Hey. Eh. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> yeah. Um. Do you have a favorite stage from Sonic Two? <laughs> always like the ones that I mean I like the casino level. So even though that was yeah. more like Sonic Three, I want to say, but still we hit that casino level. Yeah, and casino night. Yeah. I love those levels. I don't know. Even though the third one had like the creepier music one. <laughs> I was like, I was like, ah. I think uh, my least favorite level. I I like the whole game, so I, yeah. it's, it's hard for me to say. Uh, Mark, before I go, do you have a favorite level? You're, it's probably your least favorite, but Chemical Plant. Ooh, Chemical okay. Plant's cool too. Yeah. It's weird because like it's like as a kid, I remember playing as a kid, and like if you go into the war for too long, the anxiety hits you as you hear the sound like. Black. And it gets closer, mm -hmm. like it gets like le like you know, just more faster and faster, and you have to get there before you drown to death. Yeah, that scared me as a kid, but I enjoy the hell of that stage still. Yeah, I'm getting to suck the little oxygen bubbles, <laughs> suck some oxygen. Yeah, I'm sucking oxygen. <laughs> <here>. <laughs> no, uh, I I like the whole game. It's hard for me to choose yeah. what I don't like. But the one thing I really fucking hated growing up was when I'm flying the at the end Sky Chase, right? I think it's mm -hmm. called. And your plane is you go up and down. Player two oh, jumps yeah. on the plane, mm -hmm. and then at the end of it, player one goes on, and Tails is left behind. Yeah. You can't do that last boss with your brawl or your friend or your buddy. Nobody. Yeah. Tails is just like, I'm crashing now. See Bye. You. <laughs> and that I always thought that was so fucked up. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know. Because I always want to, I'm like, I want to fight the final boss. Like, I got. I was along the whole journey with yeah, you. Yeah, they probably like, uh, they probably left <laughs> player two to do all the work anyway, so <laughs> yeah. now it's the player one's turn. They're like, on our play test, we realized player one hasn't fought any boss up to this point. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> we should probably let them fight one. Which is Silver Sonic. Do you yeah. remember that boss? Yeah. It was crazy. And then, and then you got to fight Eggman. Mm -hmm. Ah, dude, that game is so fucking cool. Yeah, oh my god. Did you ever use the debug mode? Debug mode. I feel like my brother did. Yeah. There was like a trick to get, um, people called it Ashura the Hedgehog. What? That me and Tony would do. 
because uh, it turned Sonic into like a cool green and black hedgehog. What? I never see yeah. that. That's you had crazy. to like go under the waterfall and use debug mode from like the sound test, and then you could get like a weird version of Sonic. Hmm. That's and sick. that was that game actually had Super Tails first, but not with the Flickies. Mm. If you got uh, all the emeralds or had like the Super Sonic Super Sonic button in debug mode, there was this button that it's like an up and down switch, and when you hit it, yeah. Tails becomes Super. Hmm, that's pretty crazy. That dude. was so fucking cool. Oh, Tails! Why is Tails so cool? And Sonic. Yeah. Uh, any other fond memories before we start talking about Sonic tree, 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 Sonic Tree? Nothing I can think of. Mm -mm. All right, so you know what we're gonna actually do? Hmm? Ad break? Yeah, we're gonna go to an ad break. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> but when we come back, you know what we're gonna do? Make out? Yeah, we're gonna make out. All right. <laughs> I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys right after the ad break. Oh, Much love. Bye. See you a little bit. Dude, I don't know about you, man, but this chair. It's fucking nice. It's really good. Yeah. I've been chilling up here. The front desk, they like upped the pay. <laughs> they must have like, oh, well, actually, they deducted our pay. Yeah, to that, get these chairs. No, that makes sense. That's why we're in these nice chairs, right? You better believe it, but at least they're comfy. Uh, well, you sit in these things for hours. They started, yeah, they started doing it like once I went to the back, too, to do inventory. Like, like seriously, like, come on. I'm like, count all the stupid games. Like, seriously, who's going to buy this game? Seriously. Busby 3D? Everybody. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't think so. These these are really good. Did you think there's like some kind of money laundering thing going on? Money in laundering. <laughs> like it's like Ozark or something. Yeah, I feel like Marty Bird is running this shop. Well, regardless, they picked really good chairs, and yeah. you can get these chairs from <laughs> spacesambony.com slash vertigear. They have the P line, S line, trigger line, pink. Yeah, I love the pink one. Everybody loves the pink one. Yeah. It's oh my crazy. god, look wow. at this hand, this floating... Oh my god! Hand, the broken hand of endorsement. <laughs> I love the uh, broken hand of endorsement, it's awesome. So, guys, <laughs> check out the chairs, Vertigear. Yeah! Uh, Spaceman.com slash Vertigear. Uh, it's great, and I highly, highly, highly recommend Oh my god, yeah. Our whole office is now Vertigear chairs. Hell yeah! About time. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I've been meaning to read a book recently. Have you ever, like, read a book? <laughs> no. I really don't think I've ever read. But I'm more of a listener. I oh, what do you really. use? I use a service known as Audible. Oh, I've and heard, they're pretty good. They have like uh, what newspapers, yeah. podcasts, and like yeah, they audiobooks. got a whole bunch of different things that you can listen to. That way, if you're not able to read like me because it takes too much time, yeah, and you want to listen to something, then fuck yeah, Audible's where it's at, yo. Oh, maybe I'll try it out. Uh, is is that spaceinbony.com slash Audible? Yeah. Or is that audibletrial.com slash spaceinbony? Is it both? Both? Oh, cool. Let's do it. Yeah, so, uh... Yeah. And it's it's a free trial. I could get a free audiobook Yeah, or you can get oh, a free awesome. audiobook, and you can listen to it. You can listen to, like, the history of Sega. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That's really cool. I'll try that out, maybe on the way home after the store closes. Hell I'll, yeah. I'll listen to something on the ride. That, because you can't read and drive. I can't suck. read, period. <laughs> <laughs> I really, I can't. Yeah. I spent so much of my <laughs> life dedicated to running this shop now. <laughs> I can't, I can't read. Yeah. I can't. This is why the books. I'm like, oh, cool. There's yeah. a book. Oh, there's a book, but I, I can't read pictures. it. Yeah. <laughs> now, if only Audi Audible does that next. Yeah, maybe thing. Audible should start doing yeah. video game manuals. That would be sick. Do you remember the day that video game manuals just stop having pictures and it was just like all text? <laughs> it was like the yeah. worst thing. I was like, yeah, I can't understand this. <laughs> hey. Anyway, let's go right back uh, talking about some more Sonic. Hell yeah, things we see in the bank. Welcome back. Dude, my drink ran out. Oh, I'm sorry. <sighs> Damn. Get oh, back well. To work. Oh, sorry. Ah. Yeah, so we we're talking about the Sonic games or yeah, something, right? Yeah, Sonic Sick. Sonic, Sonic Sick? Yeah. Mm. But Ugh. not with COVID. <laughs> not with COVID, sorry. Uh, did you play Sonic 3? Yeah, Sonic 3 Sick <laughs> because that's where Tails is able to fly. And then yes. later on, that's where you start connecting it into Sonic and Knuckles. As a separate cartridge, <laughs> no, and uh, it's a lot of fun. I wonder how far away with the were little the flappy. So, so Sonic Three released February second, nineteen ninety four, and then Sonic and Knuckles released October eighteenth, nineteen ninety four. Yeah, they're like spit firing out those games. So, so uh, Sonic Three as a whole game was awesome. Uh, the last level I think originally is like 
before Mushroom Hill. Mm. So like you you're in this little pod, and Knuckles shows up and he's like, "Fuck off!" And then <laughs> and then you fight Robonic and he's in like this weird swingy thing and he's like, mm. "Fuck you, fuck you." <laughs> uh, and then. If you have Sonic 3 Knuckles, the game basically keeps going. Yeah, it's nuts. It's like the <laughs> DLC of Sonic 3. Yeah. Technically, it makes me think of like the N64 when they added in the expansion pack of it, because mm -hmm. it's just the expansion of Sonic 3. What was the plot Knuckles. of Sonic 3? But uh, Echidna comes in, and basically, he's awesome. Right? Yeah. Sonic comes Super Sonic from the last game, and Tails is back on the plane. He goes, hey, he didn't let me fight that boss, but I'm here now. And then he runs onto the island. He's Super Sonic. Knuckles goes, poof. Knocks him on the side yeah. of the head. <laughs> the emeralds fall out of yeah. him. Which, as a player, like you're, you're like, like, what the fuck? Like, oh shit, that can happen. Yeah. <laughs> so now you're like, oh, this Knuckles guy is a badass, and you can't even play as him in Sonic regular Sonic Three. No, mm -mm. he's basically like shows up every now and then, flips you off, laughs <laughs> at you. Yeah. He literally goes like, <laughs> <laughs> and you have to keep like progressing until you get to the boss. Yeah. But when you get to play as Knuckles, it's fucking sick. I remember falling in love with Knuckles immediately when he came into the mix. Yeah. Because he was able to glide. That was cool. So the way you got to play as Knuckles is if you had Sonic and Knuckles, yeah. you open a flap. Yep, and, and then you shove Sonic 3 yeah, on the top of it. Bah! Yep. <laughs> you punch Sonic 3. Yeah. And the save data, I don't know how the yeah, hell they know. did this, dude. It's crazy. Back yeah. in that time, it made no it sense to over. me. Yeah. You were able to continue, and aw, oh, dude, it was nuts. And you had the save slots for actual, now you could play as Knuckles. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you could do Sonic alone, Tails alone, Sonic and Tails are Knuckles. And Knuckles came in, and he's like, guess what, motherfucker? I have these punching gloves, and I could break through obstacles, and I could And he this. was able to climb on walls, yeah. Oh, yeah! He was able to punch the wall and climb up it, scale it, yep. It was sick. So, well, in terms, I always consider those games as one. Because I don't think you should ever yeah, play Sonic no. 3 without Sonic 3 and nope. Knuckles. Yeah, no, I agree about that one. <laughs> it's yeah. like, always. I had it as a cartridge, and then I had it on PC. Mm. Yeah, I remember playing it on PC a bunch, too. Sonic Jam, was it? No, it, I forgot how we had it. I don't think it was actually Sonic Jam. Hmm. But we had, like, we had some disc version of it. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah. I didn't even know that there was a disc version of it. That's nuts. Yeah. Mm. Not we, had, we had a though. lot of weird... We had Sonic CD... We had Sonic fighting the alphabet, Sonic alphabet game, and then was the it like Sonic typing of the dead? <laughs> no, it was so weird. It's Sonic Schoolhouse, I think, was the name. It was awful, dude. Damn. I, but I remember being like, "Yeah, hey, Sonic's cool, so I guess I'll play this shitty mm. game." What'd you I like about it. Sonic Three? Sonic Three, definitely Knuckles, definitely the pyramid level, yeah. fighting off the ghosts in that level. It was oh, crazy. hell yeah! Turning on the lights, also that uh, the whole slip and slide portion of that level. Trying to go through the quicksand and everything. It was wild. That game was awesome. I fucking love it. Sonic 3, you could collect the emeralds and be Super Sonic. If you had Sonic 3 and Knuckles, when you get to Mushroom Hill Zone, mm. uh, Knuckles goes into his little hidey hole, and he jerks off for a little bit. <laughs> and when he jerks off, you see all the emeralds, and they're like, Oh, I'm so weak. <laughs> it turns out there's this thing called Super Emeralds. Mm. And you can become hypersonic. Yeah, it was crazy. Even like they upped the ante in regards to how you even get into the bonus levels. You have that giant ring that you would hop into yeah. and everything. Oh. Yeah, and the bonus level itself was more interesting, and it seemed a little more doable in comparison to the one from Sonic Two, where you're flailing all around. I mean, sure, it got hard as shit after a while because the more turns you make, the faster you end up going as time goes on. Well, it just talking about that level, I could yeah. hear the sound of the yeah. balls as you get them. Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> yeah, it was like Sonic Pac-Man. It was so fucking cool. It was wild. Oh, God. I love that. That special stage was so sick. That game yeah. was awesome. Yeah, and I feel like the up the ante overall in all the levels. Like, I felt like there was more going on in the backgrounds. I felt they did a lot more with the environments and everything. The more alive, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they had a lot more going for them. Green Hill Zone. Multiple awesome. paths to finish levels. Yeah, yeah. You know, there's like more, more than one way to get to that end. Yeah, it was awesome. And, oh. uh, Carnival Night Zone mm -hmm. with that big yeah doom, 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 Michael Jackson's music. You uh, could Michael Jackson fucked all of them. Yeah, Sonic. unfortunately. I <laughs> oh my god! But and what was the case with that one? Like once he heard uh, how it sounded coming out of the Sega Genesis, he's like, I don't like this anymore. It sucks. 
Yeah, so, uh, ba so what happened is they use his music. He's not even yeah. credited in the no. fucking game. He's not credited. No, because he didn't want to be known for crappy sounding music, even though I think the music was great. I think there was shit was coming out about him. At, yeah, plus at, that too. At the same time, they had the allegations come out. So. Yeah. He still continued to work on it, though, because they were still deep in the coat. They were still deep in, like, developing and stuff. Um, but they left him uncredited for his work. And he was actually a big fan of Sonic. That's why he decided yeah. to do it. Oh, God. And a big fan of Spider-Man, too. He was almost Spider-Man. He, he was a fan yeah. of Sega, which is why he got Michael Jackson Moonwalker as well. Yeah, yep. He was just a, a huge fan of, of Sega in general. Yeah, it was wild. And them using his... All this... That game has such... Yeah, great music. epic music. Yep. I, Ice Cap Zone has amazing mm. music, and you're on, like, the snowboard, and it's so fucking... Ah. Uh, but, so, yeah. Every re-release since has had an issue with releasing Sonic yep. 3 and Knuckles because the music. Yep. And I think there was I, this. The PC version had different music. That's wild. Jeez. They've replaced the music, and, but there was something weird shit with that too, where they, they haven't re-released that mm -hmm. version either. I think the GameCube one had his music though. They have the the original music. I I remember like it sounded like Michael Jackson music, so I thought. That, I I hope I so. I double check, but I'm pretty sure the the that one had it. So. Mm. Yeah, I I know he, recently. Like the Genesis Collection thing that came out, they have they didn't get to do Sonic Three and Knuckles. Mm. Even this is uh, Sonic, Sonic Two, Sonic Three, Sonic Knuckles, and you you don't get to play Sonic Three and Knuckles, and a lot. Mm. That's just a case of like a lot of the fucking re-releases. That's wild. I've, mm. <laughs> it sucks. Know, maybe Let's maybe they had gems in Mega Collection, right on GameCube. Yeah, they had Mega Collection. Yeah, gems. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, one of them had like a lot of the Game Gear games, and then and even Sonic Adventure DX had like the Game Gear games on there. But uh, hmm. yeah, I, I don't remember. I, I just know that like it was a huge fucking problem. Hmm. And if you, we got to pull up like a compilation, maybe I'll like splice in some like comparisons of the music because hmm. like they have like jam. Can't take too much jam. Uh -oh. Hey, you would like did the the music actually had like lyrics? All the all the songs are from uh, just straight up Michael Jackson. Like, what? So, I think Ice Cap Zone takes sample. I don't. If I'm wrong. I'm sorry. Oh, 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 like oh, yeah, it's all yeah. samples from. Like, yeah, the, no, I I understand now. What? Yeah. So people have, like spliced the Sonic one with like the Michael Jackson lyrics and mm -hmm. stuff, and it, that's pretty it's cool. Like, wow, that's nuts. Yeah, it, it like fits way too well. It's mm -hmm. scary. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But yeah, so Sonic 3 Knuckles, favorite game. Uh, yeah. Super Knuckles, he turns pink. Uh, and he's like, yeah. hey, what's up? <laughs> so I'm sick. here to party. <laughs> so, I know you're saying Sonic 3 Knuckles, but mm -hmm. I thought they had two separate uh, versions. Like, there was a Sonic 3 game. Yeah. This was a Sonic and Knuckles yes. released the same year. Yes. And I know that Sonic and Knuckles, you can connect with it. Yes. For Sonic 2 and Sonic 3. So yeah, Sonic and Knuckles was its own game. Like, if you didn't put Sonic 3 in there, you only put Sonic and Knuckles, uh, mm -hmm. you show... They have a Mushroom stage, too. I don't know mm -hmm. if it's also Mushroom Hill or whatever. Sonic and Knuckles has it, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, basically, they chose them, they come up, there's a big fucking death egg behind them, yeah. and, uh, that game you could only play as Sonic or Knuckles. Mm -hmm. And that game, crazy enough, too, so, I... Uh, I literally only ever played it as Sonic 3 and yeah. Knuckles. But... Uh, I mean, I played obviously played Sonic mm -hmm. and Knuckles too, but I, my va favorite version was always Sonic. Mm -hmm. But you could actually take Sonic and Knuckles and put Sonic Two in there and play as Knuckles in Sonic Two. Yep. Duh. Mm. That's I know pretty Sonic sick. And Knuckles too. Sorry, I'm jumping to Sonic and Knuckles now. Yeah. But I know they had like two separate stories between the games. Like you can select you do the Sonic campaign or the Knuckles campaign, which takes place after um, the first Sonic game. So. I mean, I'm sorry, not the first time. Just the Sonic story, so. Yeah. Sorry, I'm like all knee deep in this. No, you're cool. Yeah. You Gucci. Yeah. yeah. So, so it takes place right, right after the third game. Uh, once again, the Death Egg lands, crashes onto Angel Island. Sonic tries to collect all the Chaos Emeralds once again to defeat Robonic, but it's stopped by Knuckles. Yeah. Uh, while they're fighting, Knuckles realizes Robonic's intentions of stealing the Master Emerald, and Sonic jumps in to stop him. Uh, so apparently had two different sides. But when you did do Sonic 3 and Knuckles, mm -hmm. regardless, when you got the Hidden Palace Zone, that's when uh, Knuckles is like... Yep. Mm -hmm. 
He's like, what the fuck? And you also have Metal Sonic, too. Yeah. Oh, that you're attacking oh, in this was, one. Was that? Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Yeah. That's right. Sonic and Knuckles had that, right? Yep. Yeah, because you had, uh... Which was also Mecha crazy. Sonic. Yeah. Mecha it was Mecha nuts. Sonic. Seeing that come out, I was like, oh, fuck. And he looks so fucking cool. Yeah. And he just lands on the emerald and he's like, yep. Power. Yep. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> Oh man, such nostalgia for these fucking games. But what were you saying before, Mark? Sorry. Yeah, sorry. No, I was just saying, because I was thinking, you said Metal Sonic, but mm -hmm. I was thinking that Metal Sonic was in Sonic CD, right? Metal Ooh. Sonic was in Sonic CD. Mm -hmm. Mecha Sonic was yeah. in Sonic was Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Gotcha. Yep. They were different. And then eventually Sonic Heroes had like a weird mix of like, he looked like Mecha Sonic, but he was Metal Sonic. It was weird. Hmm. And in Sonic Adventure, if you go into the the so Eggman's lair, mm. you have Silver Sonic, Mecha Sonic, and Metal Sonic. Damn. Yeah. And then Tough. if you collect all the emblems, you can play as Metal Sonic in Sonic Adventure. Damn, that's crazy. I didn't know that. Yeah. Mm. Oh, dude, I, I love Sonic so much growing <laughs> up. Like, dude, it was... I was obsessed with Sonic, man. I played everything. Uh, and this was, like, the golden age of Sonic, which yeah. sucks because it's, yep. like... I wish more games. Sonic Mania was awesome, mm. fantastic. Yeah, it was perfect. They that did a really in, good job in on the there. spirit of this. Yeah, but still, I, f I still feel like nothing has been like that. Like literally, this. No. Where it, it, you connect two oh. games and it's like superpower. The game. I don't know, man. Yeah, a lot of the Wii games were just kind of like runners. Sonic and like, the Black Knight. Yeah. Then you had those weird, like, <laughs> level selects. It wasn't just, like, you jump into a level. Yeah. Man. Ah, it, it, oh, damn it, dude. I, I, I want more... Because I, I like Sonic Generations, too, which, like, takes old levels from these games and turns them in, like, mm. a modern spin. Yep. I want more of that. I, I want them to take these games and do, like, the whole fucking first three games like that. Mm -hmm. Like... They've never done that. Every time they've re-released, I'm ranting. <laughs> Every time they've re-released the games, it's been the same like 2D, 16-bit look, and and X Y Z. What about Sonic Blast? <sighs> Sonic 3D Blast. <laughs> <laughs> that game is awful. Or Sonic 06. I mean, those Sonic 06, Sonic 3D <laughs> Blast, and Sonic. You're just trying to hurt me. <laughs> what about Shadow the Hedgehog and Sonic yeah. 3D Blast? <laughs> <laughs> Sonic 06. <laughs> Sonic and the Secret Rings. Yeah. <laughs> what about all what about Sonic Boom for the Wii U? Yeah, what about Boom. all those games? Sonic yeah. R. Yeah, Son Son I like Sonic R, <laughs> but that's a story for another episode. <laughs> uh Alright, Matt. So across all these games, what do you feel like wh why is this series why is why is this the golden age? What do you feel? I feel like because it's just the nostalgia of the consoles. This is what we grew up with. This, uh, I think these games are perfect for their time and everything like that. Fun difficulties, fun colors, watching them grow up and get more creative with the backgrounds, the characters, adding more stuff in, having more diverse villains and everything. I thought it was awesome. I don't know. I mean, sure, they've gotten a lot crazier since. And plus, this was the time that you guys were writing in to the developers of Sonic and everything. Yeah. and. Hashing out stuff with Sega. Yeah. So, I don't know. What was... Alright, so this... The other thing Sonic 3 did that I don't think games did a whole lot back then. I mean, like, Super Mario uh, eventually had, like, maps where you go from, like, world to world. And you could see the, like, turn into other worlds. So, like, yeah. you progress that way. In Sonic 1 and 2, it would be like, okay, next level. Yeah. Now the next level. In Sonic 3, what they would do was... You'd, you'd beat the level, and then all of a sudden you fall down a waterfall. Yep. And the start of the next level, yeah, you would have, like, a little cinema. There's transitions yeah. between yep. every single level. Yep, 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 And it's, like, a reason why you're there. Mm hmm So even though this game really didn't have, like, an in-depth story... No. There is you, still something there. Yeah, you Just feel like idea. you're playing a story. Yeah. Which is cool. You need old dialogue. It didn't need all that additional lore to suck you right into the game. Yeah. No. All it needed was, like, a little bit of... Screen action going on, little transition. That's it. What What do you think Sonic should do now to become popular again? I don't know. I think Mania was a great like. I agree. Yeah. Revert 
back to Revol- like what Revol- made it. Yeah, like a great <laughs> way to go back and pay respect to like where Sonic came from and everything. And I think a lot of people really like that game, right? It did pretty well when it came to you know the reviews and everything. Yeah, and the intro was awesome. Like seeing that animation and everything was sick. Yeah, the the, the Tyson he sort yeah. however you say it, like kind of art it style. It was very colorful, and like it made you think CD of the cartoon. Yeah. Scenes. Have you, the Sonic CD cutscenes are like, ah, oh, Sonic. Do you remember Sonic? Boom, Sonic, boom, Sonic. Boom. <laughs> that ah, oh, that game had such cool cutscenes too. It's the same mm-hmm. kind of style. Uh, I would like. Obviously, these games are re-released all the time. Yeah. If I if they ever re-release again, mm-hmm. you want I, an open world? <laughs> no, I would. I would like it to be like full fucking HD with the ability to toggle mm-hmm. back to like the old way. Yeah, that'd be sick. Yeah. Like cool HD, like 1080 sprites, where like you could experience this game in a cool new way mm. and feel like, wow, that was nuts. Like I got to relive something cool in a new beautiful way. Mm. I feel that. And then the other side of it is, I want the modern Sonic games to like have the same creativity that they mm. had back here. Yeah, minus Big the Can. <laughs> Add more Big the Cat. Be able to play as Big the Cat. A hundred times more Big the Cat. I want to play as Big the Cat. Big the Cat's fishing adventure. Yeah. (laughs) Oh my god. Uh, On the Nintendo Switch. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, bro. I feel like they could do that kind of stuff now. I mean, look at Resident Evil's with how they've rebooted them and everything. And made the second and the third one come back. And they're gorgeous. I love them. Yeah, yeah they, they, the remakes, they, remasters, they're nuts. And they did a beautiful job mm-hmm. with it. They're, you're, and Resident Evil 3, sure, it's like, yeah, people are upset that it, it's cut yeah. shorter yeah. than XYZ, but it's still an awesome, yeah, amazing it's cool. game. It's a cool addition to how they redid everything. I feel like that's a separate thing, a separate episode all of its own. Yeah, but what I think is, like, we are here. We're in the stage where now Sonic the Hedgehog, we have movies. Yeah. And they're not... Awful. <laughs> no, they're great. <laughs> you know, so uh, it, we're in this stage where now kids are coming in to watch it. Mm-hmm. We were in the theater watching Sonic Two, and some kid goes, "Tails is adorable." <laughs> yeah, it's like that might be this kid's introduction to the characters. Mm-hmm. This is the time where you're gonna you need to release something to get him back into the spotlight mm-hmm. in gaming. You can't be like, "Oh yeah, well the movies are better than the games." Like that no. sucks, dude. Yeah. I mean, with how games are now and how advanced, like, the CGI is, I feel like they could just slap those characters from the movie into a game. Oh, they definitely could do yeah. that. Which, I mean, like, yeah, sure, that wouldn't be super respectful no. for, like, the series as a yeah. whole. But, like, it's the day and age, man. Yeah. Like, adapt. Do we- something cool with what you have, with that popularity. Surprise that they're, like, we were talking about. If this was, like, 2004 or, like, the 2000s, mm-hmm. there would be a Sonic the Movie the Game. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. 100%. Sega, like, pumped that shit out. But <laughs> I'd be a little concerned about Sega the movie, the game. <laughs> Sega the movie, the game? Yeah. <laughs> Sonic the movie, the game. I feel like it would suck. Yeah, that's... <laughs> that's my only concern about... It'd be, it'd be like the old uh, Marvel games. It would be to weird make. having, like, a live-action John James Marston in the game. Yeah. Sonic, I need you to help with my family. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so weird. It'd but be Sonic 06 all over again. Oh. Um, <laughs> I need you to buy these fucking shoes. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that shit in Sonic 06? Oh my god, yeah. Uh, that's another episode too. Uh I, I just want the series to do better. <laughs> yeah. And they it's got the it opposite. in them. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like they're on they're probably working out, hashing out the next stuff that they're doing with Sonic. I mean, isn't their next thing going to be like an open world kind of thing? Yeah, Sonic Frontiers, I think so, it's called. I don't right? know. I guess we got to see what goes on with that one. I mean, I don't want to get super duper high hopes on it, but I think it's going to be interesting. I mean, everything's going open world now. Kirby. Yeah. Yeah. Legend For, of Zelda is back to open world. Kirby was Forgotten Lands. What was it called? It's not open world, though. What? Not oh, open not? world? No, it's like 3D world. Like oh, oh, okay. Hmm. That's wild. Well, eh, that's still fine, yeah. right? 
Yeah. It's still a unique way of doing it. So Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure 2, I think, are great games. Mm. I think that formula worked as well, too. Sonic mm. Generations, I think, is a great game. Mm. Just use what's good. Make something cool. Yeah. Some, somehow Sony has like the opposite effect. They're like <laughs> releasing shit movies and great games. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> like, how they. He is Morbius. <laughs> I don't know how they do that. That's terrible. It's wild. <laughs> yeah, it's so sad. Blows my mind. It, it's disappointing. Yeah, especially since they've got all this great source material and everything. It's like, come on, Sony, come on, get on the ball. So, at, as the little brothers, what 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 are our final words to everybody here? Oh, well, actually, we gotta talk about the fucking pricing. Oh, we gotta talk about the pricing. Back Ben. That's a- that's <laughs> a DS ben, version. Uh, DS version. Let's talk about the original. Five dollars. <laughs> let's talk about the- oh, what the shit? You know. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Did, should we do our trade in value first? Even though yeah, I saw do, the price. Do, yeah, do, do trade in value first. Should we do one, two- how do you want us to do it? Start- start with one. What do you guys think? One? Like brand new or what? What level are we talking about? I would say twenty five dollars. Twenty five dollars? Yeah. yeah. Brand spanking new. Brand spanking new. I'd say like a hundred thou. Hundred thou, dude. I don't know. Like me personally, I graded I, brand my, new. My trade in value for like one because I had it in six pack, which had six other games, mm -hmm. and that is like technically a bargain bin game. That's like a mm -hmm. five dollar game. So I would say if I were to buy one loose, I'd be like he's like five bucks. Damn. And what did you say, Matt, again? For a graded copy of Sonic 1, I said 100. You're saying graded? Yeah. Let's go loose first. We'll loose? Just don't, don't go by graded. Graded. Yeah, yeah, I could see like five, ten dollars. Yeah, I, I wouldn't put too much money to All it. All right. I mean, you guys are kind of right. I mean, it's, it's, it's close. Start, like, the average price is like around thirteen ninety nine right now. Okay. Uh, That's fair. Retail for loose. Yeah. If you want to get a complete copy, you just pay ten dollars more for it, so... Oh, really? So like box game manual yep. is yep. is twenty complete yeah wow oh, holy crap that's crazy uh, yeah to me I, if someone came in with that I'd be like hey he's fifteen bucks if it's been opened and stuff mm. yeah what about yeah, Sonic, Sonic 2? Two do we have Sonic two so Sonic two is a more valuable game to me yeah I would say thirty dollars yeah I, I would double I agree double mm. wait for a loose or for if someone came in and they're like hey here I have Sonic two I'd be like twenty bucks. Mm. Um, okay, so I'm looking up right now. I'm seeing the loose copy is going around nine dollars and six cents at the time. Wow. wow! Yeah, that's a well. You know what? The complete box is like seventeen ninety nine. Let's be real. They it's printed the more price. copies yeah. of Sonic Two. That's, that's why true. it's also not for resale versions too. Don't forget about that. Mm. Yeah, so you have a whole bunch of copies that they had out there. That's the game that they were trying to pump in. Everyone needs to have Sonic Two. Mm. You know. It came free, I think, as long as with Sonic. Sonic One came free too with Genesis. Yeah, at some point, I believe. Some yeah. Point, yeah. Damn. All right, so, Sonic yeah, Three. That makes sense. Uh, Sonic Three. Uh, base Sonic Three. Loose copy. Yeah, loose. loose copy. I would say twenty bucks too. I'd be like, yeah, you know let's what? Let's do it. Twenty bucks. If I were to 20, buy the 30. combo, I, I'd I would pay like forty bucks. Yeah, for Sonic, Sonic three, three and Knuckles. Yeah, yeah Sonic copy. Three and Knuckles. Hmm. For, for complete copy of no Knuckles? with with knuckles. <laughs> oh no, I'm just I need to, just Sonic. Yeah, Sonic, Sonic 3, 20 bucks. No knuckles. 20 bucks. Yeah, yeah, 20, 20, 30. I mean, okay, Matt's probably the closest. 26, 74. Okay, right now, going average price right now. All right, it's not bad. And all right, Sonic and Knuckles. Just the that little cart that Sonic and Knuckles, not Sonic and Three Knuckles. Sonic, Sonic and Knuckles. 25. How much did you nice say? Nice 25. 25? Right in between. Uh, this one had the adapter. Yeah, you know, whatever. <laughs> uh, I agree. Because it has the adapter and you can yeah. put Sonic 3 and 2 in it. Has more value. Alright, well, it's going for 3186 currently. Wow. Yeah, that makes sense. Copy, which mm. is not bad, actually. It's pretty affordable. So yeah. You know. No, that's actually pretty... Yeah, it's pretty safe and yeah, not, too not bad. bad at all. So, um, for this, this is like the shittiest version of all of them. Uh, let's say we give this guy like four bucks. Yeah, I agree with that one. Plus, you gotta make sure that your DS is charged in order to even play that. Yeah. No one's gonna come in here looking for like the original for the fucking collection on the DS. <laughs> no one's gonna come in here looking for this shit. I should give this back to you. I, mean, I should barely not even buy this. But four can bucks we, we'll give him? Sure. Yeah, can we give him four dollars yeah, we'll to take it back as well? Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll give you two bucks. <laughs> Matt, Matt sold me on taking half the cut. <laughs> so, we'll give you two bucks for that game. On that note, what do you think? Yeah. 
You want to go back place? Go back play a game? Yeah, I think we should <laughs> fucking play some more Sonic. Mark, are you Weird. cool? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, what'd you say? I said, Mark, are you cool with uh, shutting down the store and uh, we'll all leave and take two, like four dollars as our cut for the day? Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. That's, that's, that's pay for the week, anyways. Get like two yeah, burritos. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. So, thank you very much for watching Nostalgia Critique. Hell yeah, where we're buying all of your games. Yeah, for cheap. Yeah, dirt cheap. We don't got no money. No, except for Cyberpunk. Time. We don't want that. Yeah, don't even bring Cyberpunk here. <laughs> unless you have like a digital PS5 that also has like PT on it. Yeah, unless you have the so. Keanu Reeves <laughs> cut of the game. Yeah, unless you release the Keanu Reeves cut. Yeah. It's 40 more hours of Keanu. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I've been Alex. And I'm Matt. And Mark. Ooh. And thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you next time. Turn the fucking store down. Hey, We're out of here. Close the lights. Let's get the Let's flip get out of here.